All right, let's do it. Continue from my save file. Save it over. I've got to go see Dr. Alphys now. Uh, so, how do I get back to Alphys? Don't want to go to the coffins. So I'll go back to this room, go in the elevator. Walk back. Come on. What are we, three hours in this recording? God, this is a little overboard. Okay. Go in here. Out here. Take the elevator down. Whoops. Have to actually trigger the elevator, otherwise you're going to get out on the same floor. Okay. Downwards. Go back down to MTT. Phone call. Ring. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. All right. Let's go do that. I really hope I've cut this up into chunks. This episode is way too fucking long. Please select the location. We have to go to left floor one so that we can actually ride the boat. I'm just glad to hear that I made the snowman very happy, right? I thought I'd failed that quest by not taking it somewhere. Ride in the boat? Yep. Where are we going today? Snowden. And we're off. Skipping across the water like a rock. Uh oh, suddenly feeling tropical. Don't take me to a tropical location. Just take me to Snowden, please. Thank you. Danke schön. Come by it sometime. Come again sometime. Hey, hey. Hey, I have something to give you, but you're carrying way too much. I can drop at least one of the dog residues. Yeah, I've got the rest. Cool. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Take this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't have to go over there. So here you go. You've got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thank you so much. You're the best. You know what? I'm not going to read it then. Take it to Alphys, you say? Uh, Alphys's door is locked. How am I going to get there? Yep, we'll go for a ride to Hotlands, and we're off. As long as we're not running across the water. Oh, hey, this, this boat doesn't have a face. Beware of the man who speaks in something. Whew. I forgot to read that. My bad. All right, let's go up. Bye. Just trying to save as much time as possible by spamming X and Z to get through conversations. Door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? No! You keep the letter warm for a little longer. Yeah, slide it under. Oh no, is that another letter? I just don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I have no idea who could have. Oh my god, no, 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 that's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less um this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. I'll. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start. Okay, so Undyne wanted to go on a date with uh, Alphys. 
Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Wearing a nice dress. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can... Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That's, that'll increase the chance of a successful outcome of the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts for anticipa in anticipation of a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for your sca- Oh, hang on. Well, we've got this magical spear rep- oh, fuck. Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh, do you like anime? I mean, I really like Cowboy Bebop. That's about it, though. Cowboy Bebop, yeah, that's about it. Hey, me too! Hey, let's go somewhere, but where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it, let's go to the garbage dump. Oh, we're gonna see the other people on the date with Thingy. Here we are, this is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. She's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Well, because- Oh no, here she comes! Hey, there you are. I, uh... Realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me, huh? You don't have it. Yeah. Have you seen her at least? Yep. Yes! So she's around here somewhere. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people, I'm sorry. I just figured, you, you know, it'd be fun to kind of cute and pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I really want to go on a date with, but she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and funny and strong, and I'm just nobody, I'm a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm actually a lot cooler than I really am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better that way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Where the truth, uh, or a truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> uh, no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what'll happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. How can I let Undyne know- But how can I let Undyne know the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? Oh, that actually sounds kind of fun. I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. Hi, Undyne, how you doing? You're cute. No. I'm fine. Ha, huh, glad to hear it. So I'd like to talk to you about something. Then she kisses you. Uh, what is it, Alphys? You see, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. Oh, forget it. Undyne, I want to tell you how I really feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. And you always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff, and you do your best to make me feel special, like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me. What did you just say? Uh, hey, wait. Wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, no. I mean, we were romant- We were only romantic role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I've been lying to you. About what? About, well, everything. I told you that something, something, something. I really just used it to make ice cream and those human history books. They're just dorky comic books and the history movies. Those, those are just, uh, anime. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas and Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I wanted you to think I was smart and cool, not some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I think you really need, okay? Alphys, shh. The fuck did you just do? Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess, but you gotta realize most of what you said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're panish, uh, passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it 100% at maximum power, so you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie anymore. Alphys, I want you to become happy with who you already are, 
And you need the train to do just that. You're gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? Oh, God. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? Time to start the timer. Undyne, I'll do my best. Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is real. Haha, <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for caring take of Alphys. C taking care of Alphys. I didn't want to say, but uh, things seem like they're not going to get better. Sorry, they are going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later! Okay, I've got to catch up with them. Oh, I should also get myself some astronaut. Oh, never mind. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I have finished our trailing early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly. For no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay, let's go to her lab house. Uh, that's... Yeah, over here. Care for a ride, jump in the boat. Yes, and we'll go to Hotland. This episode is a disaster. Just that it's three hours and ten minutes long so far. And... I, at, like, at the 40 minute mark, I said, we're going to keep this all one episode. I can't do that. Which means I'm going to have to, like, put up a splash screen, like, this was all recorded at the same time and had to be cut up later or something like that. Or just record, like, my name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Undertale. And, you know, slap that at the start and stuff like that. Okay, lab. Hello. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Read. It's hard to read the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really matters a lot to me, but as difficult it is to say this, you guys can't magically, sorry, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine, but you don't if you don't ever hear from me again, I want you to know the truth. Enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Okay. So it's not a bathroom. It's actually a lift. I'm fine with this. Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Faded to black entirely. Okay, we're in some sort of a sub-basement. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Is this like the Metaton project? Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, the power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So in order to create more, we will have to use what we know. The souls of monsters. Entry number three, but extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five, I've done it. Using blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe that it is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, this will, uh, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate, let's call the power determination. True laboratory. There's a note on the ground, you can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. By chips? No. I can't 
can't enter that room, so I have to go over here. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for, uh, sorry, outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. As soon, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be a lot closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them back the dust for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Okay, note. There's a note on the ground, you can't make it all out. Drain dropped it, that's all you could read. Some kind of switch, there's a red colored slot in the center. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Drop the key. That's not a key. Oh, is it the happy dog? No. Something drew near. No data available. The hell is this? But nobody came. These look like kind of like deformed versions of Flowey. Cell, you take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. I have to mercy these people, right? But nobody came. Memory head. Refuse. Come join the fun. Be seeing you. So one of them just said be seeing you, the rest said come join the fun. So do I have to refuse each of them? Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Okay. Bad. No XP and no gold. And there's the red key lying in the sink. You took it out and put it in your keychain. Here's the red key slot. It fits perfectly into the slot. Red switch is being turned on, which should repower the stuff out here, right? God, the tone of this has gotten dark. Hmm? That's only... Do I get to go through here yet? Okay, I can go through here. So it looks like I have to do that three more times. Entry number 12, nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep in uh, sorry, injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13, one of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. The clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up, and they're walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Okay. Save in the bedroom. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yeah. Really? I just randomly decided to inspect that one, and it had the key. Um, pretty lucky, I guess. Entry number 15. It seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessel back to Asgore, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Were you told that you can't send them back alive? Oh, nice. There's a green key. Very nice. Is that work? Okay. Oh, you're a ghost. Not... Okay, I'm not going to be filled with determination. It smells like sweet lemons. It's got the body of uh, the thing. Flex. You flex your arms. Muscle shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Smells like sweet lemons. You let it be, but nobody came. You hear the melody of pulsating flesh. 
You called for help and nobody came? Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with this. This attack is decent, at least. Yeah, I don't know how I was supposed to dodge that one. Uh, hum? You hum a familiar tune, it seems to remember something. I felt this before. Could this be goodbye? Yep. Boom. Spared. DT extraction machine status inactive. That's to extract determination. Evidently, at least. Oh, managed to get here. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. I've already gotten this one because I've already gone behind the curtain. So I think I'm supposed to just go up until I can get into rooms. Is that not true? Do I not just go up until I can get into another room to enter another key? Looks like not. Okay. Maybe that's only the green one goes there. I've never gone in here. Yellow one, which I already did. It says under sheets, already did that. There's a VH play, uh, VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Sure. Tape one. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm, what is it, dear? Uh, why do you have that video camera? Shh, I just want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what's my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. Hee, hee, hee. If I were a dog, what breed dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momorarian. Woohoohoo! You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Momedian. Well, I am going into bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Uh, I know, he's just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Well, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Are they all going to come out like that? Take two. Okay, Ryan, are you ready? Huh? Do your creepy face. <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. Wait, you're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Are these like childhood tapes for me? Howdy, Ryan, smile for the camera. Uh, this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember. You tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter and we accidentally put in buttercups instead. That's right, those flowers got him really sick. We were, felt really bad. It made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, were you going anywhere with this? Turn off the camera, okay? Um... Okay, choose a tape to watch. Four. I don't like this idea, Ryan. What? What? I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Ryan. Never. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Tape 5. Ryan, can you hear me? I want you to wake up. Ryan, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future for humans and monsters. Psst, Ryan, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Entry number four. I began researching humans to see if I can find any more info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't like- I feel- I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Save so for a few sticky ones. That's explaining a little about the origin of my character. But that says that I've already been down here. Which I haven't. Well, I don't know what happened before the game. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he'll never talk to me- Sorry, he never talks to me anymore, except 
to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore, and then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention, every time I work on it, I get really sweaty. Because the body is so hot. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yep. Oh god, it's another thing to fight. Alright, head on. The Amalgamate. I need the Glamberg. My HP was maxed out. Oh god. So it looks like a bunch of cats and a dog. Pet. Just pet the air. I think I have to do all of the actions that I would have done with these. So, play. He's not excited enough to play with? Oh, I have to beckon it. Right? God, I think I'm gonna have to use astronaut food. This thing is really difficult, actually. No, stop it. Stop your shenanigans. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange uh, fluid from its orifice. Okay, yeah, this is definitely now play. Wait, what's it say? He's hovering close. Then you can pet it. It convulses, then it calms down. Quietly rests on your lap for a moment. It uh, shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Is striking the wall with its claws. Okay, play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. It brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process for a few times. Now the amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body onto you. Is twitching affectionately. No, I can't spare it yet. And then pet it. Uh, it starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. That's, that's quite a happiness froth. Stage one, wow. It's convulsions intensify. You pet decisively. It seems satisfied by all of this. Endogeny is contented. You won! So, I've turned on all of those, so maybe I go back to the room with all the stuff and I can do that again? Maybe? The room with all the stuff over here. Maybe I wasn't supposed to walk through it blind. So it's to the left, right? It's a refrigerator, it's empty. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me asking to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator, it seems to contain some samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry, and one about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Yeah, but it's shaking. Entry 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It is my element. Because you're garbage. Seems to contain samples of some kind. And it's empty. Oh! No, it's a thing. It's so cold. Okay, you're an amalgamate. Uh, joke. You tell a bad pun, her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. So they remember being the beasts that I was actually talking with. And laugh with it, you laugh, it's so funny, tears roll down your face. What, you didn't do that? Snowy. Yeah, it remembers being the creatures that I was, um, oh, I can't heckle it. Seems like it's losing itself. It's all a bad pun. Expression changes more. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you remember being the Snowden beasts. She's completely calmed down. You won. And that's a blue key. You put it on your keyboard. Keychain. Okay, where is the blue key hole? Because I found all of the other ones. The green one's in the other room. 
Oh, is it here? No. I don't really know. I don't rightly know. Is it somehow over here? Switch doesn't do anything. I, I really don't know where this blue key is going to go. Hmm. Let's find out together, shall we? I feel like I'm in Blue's Clues right now. Oh shit, probably through here if I had to guess. Oh hey, it's like my mirror. Entry number seven, we'll need a vessel to wheel the monster souls when the time comes. After all, the monsters cannot absorb the souls of another, just as a human cannot absorb another human soul. So what about something that's neither human nor monster? A robot. Golden flowers. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem any different than the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Oh, it's me. Oh... Fuck are you? Oh, you're a Luke's with something else. I have to pick on you, don't you? Don't I? <laughs> All those butterflies are suffocating that man over there. Wash you are, clean me. You wash your hands. Oh. Well, this is now terrifying. I'd expect to see this shit in a Silent Hill. It did something mysterious. It recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Okay, that was weird as fuck. I'm gonna hum. You hum, but no one heard you. Right, because it, it's not the humming beast. I've already dealt with the humming beast. Hey, uh, I pray, yes, for the thingy. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, courage. Okay, Reaper bird seems placated. You won, getting no money. Look, blue key fits perfectly, and it says cold. Obviously a refrigerator. Okay, I've got all of the keys done, which means I just need to go back to the central room and enter. Right? Like, that's straight up it. I believe. Uh, that reminds me I should save. Okay, the elevator, but I don't want to go that way yet. Seems to be turned off. Are you not proud of these messages? 